Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Teacups and welcome back to Ox United challenging for the Premier League. So this is a special episode. This is going to be the last episode of the current season of the League 2 season because today we've got four games. That's more than usual. We usually have three games. Today we've got four games to end off this season. Can we do it? We're so close to promotion to League 1. But Barry are only a couple points behind us. They could sneak up on us and take this at the last second. But let's do this. Let's get into this. The first game of the day is Oxford United away to Fleetwood Town. And this is how it went. Oh boy, an away game. I really didn't need this right now. I would like the nice little home game. But it's only against Fleetwood Town. I'm not going to take anything away from them. I think they're only a mid-table team at the moment. And we're at the top. So we should be winning this. We should be winning this. But to be honest with you, the game was so slow. Uh, during the first half, nothing was happening. Like There was no rain. There was nothing getting in my way. But I just could not thread that ball forward and get a goal. Much like Tottenham today as we got bang 6-0. But yeah, <laughs> at least we didn't concede anything in the first half. Just going to leave it there. The first half ended 0-0. So this is what I like to see. In the second half, it was a completely different game. We came out the door running. We had more possession of the ball. Actually, we we kind of dominated the first half in terms of possession. Not too badly. Like I don't really have that great of a possession in this game. I just play out and out attacking football. I don't really hold it up. But we had a decent amount of possession. And we was getting a load of shots on goal. But I was just lacking in that final third. So you know what you do when you're lacking up front? You sub on a beast player. I subbed on Tyrone Marsh got some you know he's a pace abuse right now he's not really that good in any other areas but he's got some really decent pace and that is what we needed up front with Neil and guess what happened the super sub himself this is a very very easy goal Neil steals the ball off the defense very easy I don't even know what the defender was doing that he takes it off them sweats a through ball two to Neil he uses that sweet sweet pace slots one home it's one nil that first goal looked like it rattled them because they looked very, I don't know, very nervous around the back because guess what happens? We score a second goal and this is all Constable. The freaking tank himself, he works for this goal. I don't know what they were doing around the back. They wasn't doing any Stoke play and hoofing it forward. They were trying to play it around the pitch, you know, doing the short passes and it wasn't working because Constable dispossesses him, uses his sheer strength and just absolutely obliterates the net. This is a fabulous goal from him and it's 2-0. All credit to Fleetwood though, they did try and attack after the second goal went in. And they actually did get a goal in stoppage time right at the end of the game. I don't even know how this went through. My defending was so bad. Now, honestly, I just gave up. I was like, yeah, we got this win. But they somehow thread the ball through. And it's a decent goal from them. But that's where the game ended. It's ended 2-1. The whistle is gone. The game is over. We took the victory. And with that victory, we have guaranteed promotion to League 1. You are looking at League 1 candidates next season. That's absolutely amazing, but we still got to secure that League 2 title. Let's do this. So after the game, as usual, there was nothing to do. Signed a few player contracts, you know, because some player contracts are running out. Looked at a few young talent as well. We haven't got really anything in the academy, so yeah. <laughs> it's time for the second game of the day. Oxford United at home to Hartlepool, and this is how it went. So Hartlepool really annoy me when I play them. I don't know why I just hate playing against Hartlepool because, yeah, guess what happens? You're seeing in the background right now. They score in the fourth minute. It's just a sweaty cross comes in. They got some Goliath up front. He gets his head on it, goes in the back of the net. I don't even know what the keeper was doing. He didn't even make an attempt to get a save. But it's 1-0 already. So, to be honest with you, there's not, not much happened this game. I already said it. I don't like playing against Hartlepool. For some reason, I can't play good football against this team. And they scored so early on, it really rattled me. It really did rattle me. And to be honest with you, the first half came and went. Now, usually, I talk about, you know, the second half was really different. You know, we, we came out the door guns blazing. You know, we, put out, we put away a million, billion shots. But that didn't happen. Nothing happened at all in the second half. Just going to spoil it right now. The game ended 1-0. I'm going to save you from wasting your time. That game was sheer boredom. Honestly, I did not enjoy playing it. Hartlepool are, you know, Hartlepool are a team I just don't like playing against. Nothing happened in that whole game. There was nothing I could highlight. The only thing I could highlight was the goal. It was basically just a giant midfield game. Second game of the day is over. So far, one win and loss. Things are feeling a little bit scary right now, you know. Barry could catch up to us. I think it's all to play for in the third game of the day. So for the third game of the day, it's Oxford United away to Accrington Stanley. And this is how it went. So this game was completely different to the last game. Accrington Stanley don't play like Hartlepool, and I love that. And we were on fire this game. It was beautiful football from the get-go. I was really, really enjoying it. I was putting away the shots really, really early on. Credit to the other team, though. They were blocking a lot of my shots and, you know, really... And really giving me a good midfield battle but 
It was a coming. 19th minute, there is a beautiful through ball all the way forward. There is a beautiful through ball that finds its way to Neil. He puts away a beautiful finish. You know, he's got the pace, he's got the skill. He puts away a nice goal. It's 1-0. So after the first goal winning, we kept up with the level of intensity that we had. We were just putting so much pressure in, but we was winning everything. And it was a coming, we got a second goal. And to be honest with you, I found this goal quite amusing. 36 minute, Potter, he's working for this shot. He ends up getting a shot blocked, somehow gets the ball back to his feet. He takes a shot, he absolutely scuffs it. This is a P-roller, and it rolls into the back of the net. It was just a beautiful angle from him. It was a hilarious goal for me. I was just like, when I was playing, I was just like, did I just fucking score that? Yes, I did. I'll take it. It's 2 0. So, usually right now, I'd be like, you know what? First half ended. You know, it's time for the second half obliteration. It's time to win 5 0. But on the stroke of half time, Accrington did actually score. And it's my fault. I was fucking around midfield trying to do step over. And they play a beautiful through ball forward, finds his way to BT. He puts in the back of the goal. Very nice goal from them. It's 2 1 and all to play for in the second half. So indeed, it was all to play for in the second half. If Accrington got a goal, they could bring this game back to a draw. If I got another goal, I would seal this win. And to be honest with you, the second half was very, very difficult. The game felt like a huge midfield game. Most of the chances were in the midfield. Uh, a lot of chances were stopped in the midfield. Not much actually happened in the second half. And I'm just going to end it there because the game ended up finishing 2-1. We had an action-packed first half. Second half was more of a contest, but nothing happened. And to be honest, I will take that. A 2-1 victory for me. I don't care if I scored a billion goals in the second half. I just wanted the win. We've got the win. Two wins are lost so far. Pretty decent. Now, it's time for the final game of this season. We're currently sitting on 98 points. Barry sitting on 96 points. Portsmouth in third with 92. So with guaranteed promotion, we already know that. But it's all to play for for the League 2 title. If I get a win, it's absolutely guaranteed. I think if I get a draw, it's guaranteed as well with my goal difference. But we can't lose this game. If we lose this game and Barry get a win, they've taken it. They've snatched the title from us. So it's all to play for. And the final game of the day is Oxford United at home to York City. And this is how it went. So I'm going to be honest with you. I was quite nervous with this game. There was a lot of pressure weighing on my shoulders to win this for Ox United and get us the League 2 trophy. So yeah, I wasn't playing my best football in that show because York City were pretty much all over us in the first half. Like they had a lot of chances. They had a lot of they had a lot of possession of the ball. I'm going to give it to them. They were taking away all my chances in the midfield. They were just absolutely tackling me like tanks. And I thought, you know what? This is going to be all to play for in the second half. But in the 43rd minute, something that goes against the run of play. Literally, York all over us. Somehow, Rig gets the ball from Tyrone. He takes the shot from outside the box. And I thought, you know what? This is not going in. I didn't even finesse the ball. I thought, you know, he's going to make an easy save or he's going to completely miss this. Rig puts away a beautiful finish to give us the league in this final game of the season. And now we go into half time and it's all to play for in the second half. So the second half was pretty much identical to the first half. York were all over us. I thought, you know what? That goal might actually hurt them, but it didn't. They kept coming back at us. They never gave up. They never gave in. We was on the back foot all the time. They were literally putting away chance after chance after chance. But we prevailed. I'm just going to spoil it there because there was absolutely no highlights in the second half that I think, you know what, that's highlightable. Nothing happened at all. No more goals. It's ended 1-0. That beautiful strike from Rig has won us the League 2 title. We are now a League 2 champions. It's time to get our wide asses into League 1. And that's it. This is the end of the first season. Next episode, we'll be starting our new season in League 1. I don't know how things are going to go because it's going to be better opposition. It's going to be pretty difficult. So for the next couple of episodes, I might be focusing on transfers. And at the moment, we do lose Jack Grimmer and Neil because they were loanees. I'm thinking about actually picking up Neil and uh, maybe not Jack Grimmer. I like Jack Grimmer because he's got a lot of pace for a centre-back. But we do actually have some nice centre-backs that I've really been neglecting. So we might be playing them for the next season. But for now, it's over. We're champions. I'm just going to leave the episode off there. I've been Mr. Teacups. You're welcome to subscribe. See you next time.